Hello guys, this is Raven from Digital Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 2 not 3. Google has banned over 26 applications at once. All these applications have been accused of stealing money from bank accounts. The list includes many widely used applications. Google will enroll users in two-step verification by default by end of 2021. Two-step verification requires users to confirm it is them by tapping once on their mobile devices. Google is also rolling out additional security tools like the Google Smart Lock application and Google Identity Services for enhanced security. ICICI Bank today announced the launch of contactless payment service through its banking application. iMobile Pay that enables customers to tap their smartphones to pay at point of sale machines or merchant outlets. The service offers improved convenience to over 1.5 crore debit and credit card customers of the bank as they will no longer need to carry their cards for payments at retail stores. Instagram is finally acknowledging that IGTV, its first big push into video, didn't pan out. Today, the company is rebranding IGTV as Instagram TV and it is getting rid of exclusive IGTV video format. The videos posted on the main Instagram feed can now run up to 60 minutes long, a length previously reserved for IGTV videos, and you will no longer have to leave the main application to view them. Nokia T20 has been launched officially. This tablet offers a 10.4-inch 2K display, Unisoc T610 processor, Android 11 OS and the 8200mAh battery. The Nokia T20 starts at €199, Euros, that is roughly around Rs 17,200. Xiaomi mentioned that there are around 2 million users using the Xiaomi products day-to-day -day life till date. And Xiaomi India mentioned a tweet that 2 million users of Xiaomi fans choose to make us a part of their lives during the Diwali with MI sale till date. Xiaomi India says that it sold over 100k smart TVs in less than 3 days. 8 out of 10 best-selling TVs on Amazon were from the house of Xiaomi. The company says customers have shown huge interest on 4K TVs. Microsoft is celebrating the success of Windows 11. Windows 11 was rolled out on October 5th worldwide. Microsoft is celebrating the launch of with ice creams as well. Telegram has gained over 70 million new users during the Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp outage. This Facebook outage lasted over 6 hours and was caused by an internal mistake. Most new users joined the messaging service from the Americas. Realme has first launched the Realme 8i along with the Realme 8s in India. Realme has now revealed the 8i will be released for the European market soon. A new tweet by the Realme's VP Madhav Seth indicates that 8i will be launched in Europe on October 14th. Chinese tech brand Realme sells a wide variety of products mimicking Xiaomi. One of these product categories is speakers. At present, the company sells two portable speakers, namely the Realme Pocket Bluetooth speakers and Realme Cobble Bluetooth speakers. There is also a soundbar called Realme 100 Watt Soundbars. According to the new leak, the firm will be soon releasing its third portable speaker. The Realme's next speaker will be called as Realme Brick Bluetooth Speaker. As the name suggests, the speakers will look like a brick. The leaker has part with Realme Times to share the features and the images of the product's retail box. OnePlus 9RT price is set to start around Rs 23,200 in China. This handset will retain the design of the OnePlus 9R. OnePlus 9RT launch date is yet to be revealed. It seems that Google is bringing back the tradition of giving desert names to its Android operating system. Google's Vice President of Engineering for Android, Dave Brooke, announced on Twitter that Android 12 has a desert code name. It is being called as No Cone. Battleground Mobile India, popularly known as BGM, is introducing seven new gaming modes for all the players. These modes are not exactly new since they are also available on PUBG Mobile. Since PUBG Mobile was banned last year, the Indian gaming community has shifted towards BGMI, which is essentially an Indian variant of the popular Battle Royale game. The official Instagram page of Battlegrounds Mobile India shared a new creative mentioning seven mega modes. These modes include Weekendy, Infection, Survive Till Dawn, Payload to Metro Royal, Runic Power and Titan's Last Strand. Acer India has rolled out six new Windows 11 powered laptops. The range starts at Rs 55,999 and gets a variety of Intel and AMD based options. These laptops will be available from October onwards across multiple outlets. The six new models that have been brought into the market are the Acer Shift X and Acer Shift 3, the Aspire 3, Aspire 5 and Acer Spin 3 and Acer Spin 5. The Shift 3 price starts at Rs 62,999 Indian rupees and the Shift X starts at Rs 86,999. 
the aspire 3 starts at rupees 55999 the aspire 5 starts at rupees 57999 the speed 3 starts at rupees 74999 and the spin 5 starts at rupees 99999 all six laptops will be available from october onwards on acer c store acer exclusive stores flipkart amazon chroma reliance and vijay sales Geo network has been down since 9:30 a.m. on Wednesday. The down detector shows a 4000 reports on network connectivity issues. These reports were based out of Delhi, UP, Bengaluru, Indore, Mumbai and Raipur cities. IQ8 Legend will launch in India later this month on early November. IQ8 Pro in China could be rebranded as IQ8 Legend in India. IQ8 Pro specifications include a 6.78 inch 2K display, Snapdragon AAA Plus processor, Android 11 OS, 50 megapixel camera and a 120 watt fast charging support. The upcoming Maruti Suzuki Wagner or electric vehicle was spotted testing in the streets of Gurgaon. The Wagner or electric vehicle is expected to launch in 2022 and will be Maruti's entry into the electric vehicle car market. The new Wagner or electric vehicle sports a split headlamp design with projector units and a restyled bumper. Earlier this year Vivo V21 series was launched in India and included the V21e and V21 5G while the base variant was available in three colors namely sunset dazzle arctic white and dusk blue and new reports suggest that company is also planning to launching a new color variant of this device according to the leaks the company is aiming to launch a new neon spark color of the Vivo V21 5G Motorola E40 is a budget Android 11 Go smartphone expected to launch soon. The teaser doesn't reveal the India launch date. It will feature a Unisoc T700 octa-core chipset, a 6.5-inch display, and a triple rear camera setup. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.